Hello, this is Martimba Graphics, and in this tutorial, we will be creating this awesome YouTube subscribe overlay that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Uh, these subscribe overlays have sort of become an essential part of almost every U video on YouTube, and I decided why not just record a full on tutorial about creating this step by step. And I do use these myself and I have different varieties of these, but in this specific, in this video, we will be creating this specific one that you see on your screen right now. So without further ado, let's jump in and start creating this from scratch. So let's create a new composition first and let's call this overlay 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds for the duration is fine. And let me close these ones we, and actually bring this down. And yeah, first we need a shape, uh, a placeholder. So select the ra rounded rectangle tool, change the color to white and draw a shape like that. Make sure you hold the control so it is uh, uh, proportionally in size and rename this to box. Then go to rectangle one, rectangle path and set the size to 200 and unlink this and also set the roundness to 100 this all makes sense okay so now select your box click s for scale click the stopwatch set the value to zero move one second forward and set the value to 100 Set the keyframes and we need to apply easing so you see here i'm using motion to plugin this is a paid plugin that's worth every penny and this is specifically designed to save you a lot of time while easing out those keyframes and if we go to the graph editor you see that this is the graph that we've created we're using this motion to plugin if you don't have this plugin no problem you can follow along and create these graphs by yourself with a traditional method the only downside to that is that you'll it will require more time for you to do those every single time so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be, i'll stick to using motion to plugin all right so and now we need our logo okay so i have my logo here let me drag it to the timeline okay like that it's let's scale it down a bit somewhere around like that and let's pre-compose our logo whatever your logo is pre-compose it right click go to pre-compose let's call it logo make sure you select the move all attributes into the new composition and click ok and you see our logo is square and our box is uh, a circle so we need to make our logo a circle as well so let's select our logo select your logo go to the shape tool and select the ellipse tool make sure you select the logo and just create an ellipse like that make sure you're holding control so it's proportionally in size and then select the selection tool and drag this square point to the left and align it to you know in the middle and then of course you can just click align vertically and horizontally if it's too big you can select your mask and like eh, decrease the size if you want to but this is good enough for me all right so now what we could do at one second mark oh no no first we need to parent our logo to the box and then at one second mark let's go to, click the drop down for box go to content rectangle one rectangle path Create keyframes for size and roundness. Go to two seconds from here and set the roundness to somewhere around 20 and also the X size to 800. Okay. And also select your logo. Go to one second. Click P for position. Click the stopwatch. Move to two seconds from here and drag your logo to the left. So somewhere right here. And actually, our logo is a bit too big almost so click s for scale and decrease it by a couple of points 96 uh, that's good enough i think okay so now um so select your logo in box click u for to reveal all the keyframes select these linear keyframes that we have and apply the same easing effect if we preview this you'll see that this all this all already looks in a looks like we're heading in the right direction okay let's continue so two seconds at this point let's start adding more elements first let's add our text so select your horizontal type tool and you know you can type well your channel name here or something that you want to 
type. So I'll just type my channel name, Sorry, Timber Graphics. And yeah, you don't see the text because it's white. So let's change the color to black. And you know, select the selection tool and align this text. I'll make sure you're holding control so it snaps in the middle. Like that is fine. Of course, you can change the color, the font, and the look. Everything is in Unreal Control, but this is fine for the sake of the tutorial. I'm just giving you an idea, and then you can play around with it on your own. So now let's go to the Shape tool, select the Rounded Rectangle tool, and select the fill to right uh, to the right color, and let's create a subscribe button. Something like that would be nice and align it uh, vertically and let's rename it to sub button okay stay organized select the selection tool and while holding control align it to the middle something like this would be fine okay we'll we need to leave out the space for a bell icon for the future all right let's actually bring this up a bit so we have more space Okay, let's zoom in a bit too. So we need our text here. So go to select, go to the type tool and type subscribe. And uh, let's change the color to white and align this in the middle, like so. Okay. And at this point, we we need a cursor, so something that will be clicking on our button. So actually, well, let me just show you here so bell uh, hand click okay let's resize let's set size to eight so it's not too massive okay and yeah so this is just a cursor that i've actually have a full-on tutorial about this uh on how to create this click on effect you see that the finger is making a click we'll be using those clicks to simulate or actually to to create the click on effect the proper one okay so i highly suggest you to watch that guy that tutorial on my channel it's a five or six minute tutorial but it's very useful you learn a lot from it so if you want to learn it feel free to do so okay so uh at two seconds also let's actually add uh, position and opacity but before that make sure you see parent your subscribe text to the sub button okay that make will make sure they move together a two second mark so select your subscri subscribe text subscribe button and you know some graphics or whatever your text is select those and press p for position and create keyframes like that then move to one second and um uh, also you know drag one by one to select you now select the sub button here and drag it make sure you're holding control and drag it into the center then select the text that you have also drag it in the whoops drag it in the center like like so okay then select all of them again and move and stay at one second mark press t for opacity create keyframes and set the value to zero and move to two seconds and bring the opacity back up to 100 then select all of them again actually you, you didn't have to deselect them like i did so click u to reveal all the keyframes select all of them and apply that same easing effect okay and actually move to one second 15 frames and select these of them again press t for opacity and bring the opacity keyframes the first ones to 1.5 1 second 15 okay if we preview this you'll see that we have this nice reveal effect so that's cool so at two seconds let's bring our hand outside of our oh you know overlay like so and select your hand actually press p for position create a keyframe move to three seconds and animate your hand on top of the subscribe button okay so yeah i've yeah so as i said so if we go into the hand click composition here so this is where we need to time it right so three seconds this uh, this animates and is hovering over our subscribe button so 10 frames forward from here make a marker 
like so. so this will be the point where we want the click to happen so go in and i've already no well, as i said i've created a tutorial about this so i've uh made this beforehand so this is where our click will be happening this point yep so uh, okay so at this point we need to bring our bell so i've also let me show you so bring the bell under the sub button so as for scale and something like eight be nice and let's add fill so we can change the color so fill set it to something like gray and we'll place the the uh, bell like somewhere like here okay and drag this composition and let me tell you let me go ahead and tell you that i've also created a tutorial about this um, let me just demonstrate you real quick so i've recorded a full-on step-by-step tutorial about how to create this wiggly bell animation and i highly highly suggest that you watch it it's in order to uh, learn how to create this animation and yeah for in this tutorial i'll be using this belt since well i've created this and why not just use it and as i said you could learn how to create this as well so you can use it too and well if you don't want to you can use any normal like bell style image whatever it's up to you so okay so let me just bring this back here and Click the bell, composition, press P for position, create a keyframe, move 10, 10 frames forward from here, and bring the bell outside to here. Okay, select the keyframes, and apply that same easing. Okay, so if we preview this, so once this clicks, our bell appears, and from here, we need to move, actually, one second forward, one, two, three, so that's one second, create select your hand and create a whole keyframe for position with 10 frames forward from here and drag the hand over to the bell icon okay and 10 frames from here i have already pre-made so if we go to the hand composition you can see that i've you know pre-made this so this is where the second click will be happening so you could let's create a marker once again so it's better for us to see and as soon as the click happens our bell starts you know wiggling and animating of course yeah so watch my tutorials and this will make sense to you so this is actually very simple very easy uh, you just need to create this once and then you can keep reusing it every single time this is sort of a template Th templates yeah so from here move one second forward to so one two three like that create a whole keyframe for hand and then one second forward, one, two, three. And you can just animate your hand outside of the composition, just like that, like so. Okay, of course, select all the position keyframes for your hand and apply that same easing. So this is the graph, you know, these are the graphs, as I should have said. So yeah, if we preview this from the beginning, this is what we have so far, just like that click bell appears a click bell wiggles and the hand slowly like goes away okay and now we need to spice this up by adding some more effects and go to effects and presets and search for drop shadow and drag this drop shadow over to the logo set opacity to 70 distance to 10 and softness to like 40 okay so then select this uh drop shadow click click, click control c select your bell and sub button and the text as well and click ctrl v to paste this effect whoops uh yeah all right so that's fine and now oh actually yeah and now what we need to do is uh let's this was the marker for our point of the first click okay on the subscribe button so let's go to subscribe uh, button and uh, create keyframes for the drop shadow distance and softness then select you know click u to see all the key all these keyframes and from here move five frames forward one two three four five and then set distance zero 
and softness to zero and move five frames forward from here one two three four five and select the first two keyframes for distance and softness Control c Control v to paste them then select other keyframes and apply the same easing effect okay if we preview this right now you'll see that what ha what's happening as soon as we click you see that the it looks a lot more natural a lot more like an actual click okay so let's select all these keyframes all three of them can press Control c then let's go to the second point of our click so this marker select your bell and press Control c and now the bell icon will also have that effect and honestly this is a very subtle effect and but trust me it makes a lot of difference honestly well or maybe it's just me and i i just like it, it to be more natural like that okay so at this point we sort of we, we're almost done honestly and the one last thing we need to do is to animate everything out so well depending on how long you want this to stay on your screen well let's say go to eight seconds and uh, create a new oops create a new null object and rename it to controller oh well, i like to do that you don't have to and we need to parent everything that's not already parented to something else to this controller so hand uh sub button bell icon the text and the box itself drag the pick whip drop it to on to the controller then set select the controller press p for position and let's actually bring this down to so you usually want these overlays to be at the bottom so they don't cover up your screen okay so eight seconds so I press the stopwatch for position of the controller okay go one second forward and animate this or actually you know re animate this outside the composition okay so like the keyframes apply that same easing effect if we preview this you'll see that it smoothly and nicely just goes outside goes you know slides to the bottom yeah and let's just preview this from the beginning once again so yep click click the bell wiggles the hand goes away and after a while you know our entire overlay just you know slides away so this is pretty much it honestly not hard but very simple i know if you're watching this for the first time you don't really have a lot of knowledge of you know of using after effects and you know animations in general um this might be a bit confusing to you but trust me just follow along this is very simple if you have any questions or you know any suggestions feel free to ask me in the comment section below um, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this i'm planning to upload a lot more more uh, frequently and uh, yeah i'll be doing all sorts of tutorials and also yeah, drop your suggestions in the comment section i'll be answering every single comment and once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one